Hello and welcome back to the Celebrity of Runa series. In this video, we'll be taking on Bremen. For this fight, you can bring pretty much whatever you have left as we're going to be cheesing the fight. I'd fill up as my main fighter because the burden infliction is nice to speed up the fight, and for my other four librarians, I brought various urban nightmare pages as they're taking enough to survive a few scenes, but don't overstate their welcome. Philip's deck was a fairly standard burn deck with four light regen, fire dragon slash, emotional turbulence, wield the prescript, and the two self burn pages. My other four librarians ran a deck focused on emotion coin generation with three opportunities spotted, two graze the grass, two steel knuckles, and two wrath of torment to help them die when it's needed. For passives, my Philip brought Corpse Cleanup, Mind Hauler, and Furious Fire Rang in the Skies. You don't need too much power gain in this fight, so I opted for a bit more sustain. The other four librarians brought the full stop office and musicians of Bremen's passives for first scene power. For abnormality pages, I like Tense Coals and Florence on Philip. Laughing Powder is a very strong page, and honestly, it might be too strong because it could have your fodder librarians living for too long. It's by no means a bad option, but I'm greedy and want as much damage as possible. Thorns is the most important, so if you're going to take Laughing Powder over Tentacles, that's perfectly fine. For Tier 2 pages, Incomprehensible and Teardrop are the best ones. Teardrop is just a flat 1 power boost, which is fine, and Incomprehensible can stack up debuffs really quickly. If you don't get Incomprehensible first, however, I'd probably skip it in favor of Autumn's Passing, because at that stage, you probably want your librarians to start dying. Finally, for Tier 3 pages, we're obviously going to be taking Spring's Genesis, as once you have that, it's basically impossible to lose the reception. For Ego pages, I like Fantarama and Fridays from Somewhere, with the last one being up to preference. Now for the fight itself, but before I talk about Bremen, I'm going to talk about their helpers. There will be two puppets, a Church of Gears Worshipper, and Miss Mermaid. The puppets have 70 HP, 40 stagger, are normal to all damage and stagger damage, and have 4 passives. Puppet Skeleton, Improv Drumming, Gigi Gigi Gig, which increases their stagger damage dealt if they have puppet strings, and Manipulated Flesh, which revives them if they have puppet strings. Notably, I'm pretty sure there's literally no way for these puppets to get puppet strings, so I'm not entirely sure why they're here, but if there is a way then someone will um actually me in the comments and I'm willing to accept that. Their deck consists of 3 Gigi Gig, which can be beaten with basically anything, 3 Creek, which can be beaten with the Wrath of Torment, Fire Dragon Slash or your 3 costs, and Mannequin, which you can either ignore or use your fill up to clash into it. The Church of Gears Worshipper has 97 HP, 57 Stagger, is Blunt Stagger Injured, and has 5 passives. Puffy Broom, Internal Combustion Engine, Meat Gear, Thought Gear, and Stimulating Fumes. The deck is identical to the Cog Worshippers in the Alien fight, so I'll just give the TLDR here. Guidance of the Gears can be clashed into by basically anything. Autonomous Rush can be clashed into by Steel Knuckles, Wobble City, Wrath of Torment, Fire Dragon Slash, earning 3 cost. Assault Order can be clashed into by Fire Dragon Slash, or 3 cost, and can be mitigated with Wrath of Torment. Defense Order can be ignored or clashed into with Wrath of Torment, and Vapor should just be mitigated with a block on 1. Miss Mermaid has 240 HP, 100 Stagger, is blunt and jured in pure Stagger weak, and has 3 passives, Speed, Shimmering, and Twas a Joy to Perform by Your Side, which makes Oswald take 40 Stagger damage when she dies, but Oswald isn't in this fight, so it does nothing. Her deck is focused on ranged pierce cards that have various effects. Aria of Auspice rolls 3-7, 3-7, 36 pierce, and gives 2 protection to the ally with the lowest HP on use, as well as having a 3-7 blunt counter die. On the first scene, you can use basically anything to clash into this, but I particularly like using Will of the Prescript because it has double pierce to stagger Miss Mermaid faster. Horrendous Pitch rolls 48 pierce that on hit deals 8 stagger damage and has a 48 blunt counter die. This pitch can be mitigated with anything with a block on 1. Aria of Courage rolls 48 38 pierce and gives 1 strength to the ally with lowest HP on use as well as having a 48 blunt counter die. This page loses to Wrath of Tormentor Steel Knuckles, as well as most of your Philips pages. Aria of Encouragement is her only melee page, rolling 6-10, 5-10 block, and recovering 8 HP of the ally with the lowest current HP, as well as having a 5-9 block counter die. This page you can just ignore unless you need a specific page to clash into the block die. Finally, Resonating Terror is a mass individual rolling 6-10, 6-9 blunt, with both of them dealing 4 stagger damage on hit. I've honestly never seen her cast this page, but you should use Wrath of Torments or Emotional Terms to clash into it. Berman has 900 HP, 60 stagger, is ineffective to all damage, slash and blunt stagger injured, and has 6 passives. Nuovo Fabric, Shimmering, Woof Ruff Doodly Doo Hee Haw, which is basically just a bad concussion. Triarchy, which makes the first 3 speed dice they play use combat pages from specific heads from the top, which activates a different head each scene, as well as makes them occasionally use a page that inflicts the target with tagged. 
Tagged is a status effect that lets the affected character gain copies of combat page they win clashes against. Finally, Busted Chops makes it so that when Bremen is staggered, the speed die that belonged to the active head will break and make them recover from stagger at the start of the next scene. Additionally, when all the heads are destroyed, the battle progresses to the next phase. Honestly, that's quite a few things to keep track of, but you can basically ignore all the mechanics and just focus on winning clashes. For their first die, Bremen can either cast Rarf Rarf Rarf, which rolls 4 to 8 block, 7 to 10 blunt, inflicts 2 feeble to deter on clash start, and has a 4 to 9 block counter die that inflicts 1 feeble to a random enemy next to you know clash win. This page is pretty hard to beat, so I just redirected to one of your fodder characters. The other option is Bark Rough Bark, which rolls 5 to 9, 5 to 9 slash, both of which inflict 2 binds and disarm next to you know hit. This page can be beaten by Wrath of Tormentor or 3 cost bombs. The second speed die can either be casting Bok Bok Bok, which is a counter only page rolling 6 to 10 pierce, 6 to 10 evade, with the pierce giving 1 strength to a random ally next to you clash win. This page can and will start out targeting ally, and on combat start, if the target is still an ally, gives them 2 strength. It would be smart to try and redirect this page to one of your librarians whenever possible. The other option is Cockle Doodle Doo, which rolls 4 to 10 evade, 4 to 8, 4 to 7 pierce. It also gives 1 strength to all allies on combat start. This page has a very strong evade, so you should counter it with something like Emotional Turbulence. Both the prescript can work as well, but the rolls are a bit dicier. The third speed deck can either cast Nehi He, which rolls 12 to 12 blunt and gives tags to next scene on hit, and has 2 4 to 7 blunt counter dice. This page you'll almost certainly just mitigate with a block on 1. The other page is Ne, which has 3 6 to 9 blunt dice, with the first 2 inflicting 1 paralysis next scene on hit. The 2 paralysis is pretty annoying, so I just try to redirect this page away from your main librarian. Bremen's other dice will be casting a different set of pages. Powerful Tendon Chords rolls 5 to 7 blunt, 5 to 7 slash. The blunt gives 1 strength to 2 random allies next scene on hit, and the slash recovers 3 HP of 2 random allies on hit. 5 to 7, 5 to 7 isn't too hard to beat with your 3 cost bombs or 2 cost value pages with a bit of extra strength. Everlasting Melody rolls 5 to 7 slash, 4 to 5 block, 4 to 8 blunt, and gives 1 strength to 2 random allies on combat start. This page is also fairly easy to beat with your 3 cost bombs, but can also be beaten with Fire Dragon Slash. Dark Shrine to Music rolls 4 to 6, 8 to 12 blunt, 3 to 5 block, and inflicts 1 feeble to a random enemy on combat start. The 8 to 12 on 2 is quite hard to beat, so it's probably best to just redirect it to one of your fodder characters. Explosive Tempo rolls 9 to 18 blunt and inflicts 1 feeble to 2 random enemies on combat start. Again, it's probably best to just absorb this with one of your fodder characters, but Rekindled Strike has a decent shot of beating it. Finally, Trio rolls 5 to 9, 4 to 8, 4 to 7 blunt and on combat start gives 2 strength, endurance, haste, and protection to a random ally, as well as inflicting 2 feeble, disarm, bind, and fragile to the target. This page is theoretically not hard to beat, but the 2 disarm and feeble make it roll like a pseudo 7 to 11, 7 to 10, 6 to 9, which is very strong. Mitigate it as best you can with your fodder pages whenever possible. Generally, you're just going to be clashing to gain emotion coins and trying to race to emo 5 to get Spring's Genesis as fast as possible. Opportunity Spod guarantees 3 emotion coins while free hitting and can give up to 7 while clashing. Remember that your fodder librarians are expendable, and it's perfectly fine to engage in clashes that are guaranteed to lose with them. Once you stagger Bremen 3 times, they'll become unable to be staggered, and every 3 scenes will cast a mass attack, then switch all resistances to fatal on the next scene. The mass attack is a mass individual rolling 5 to 10, 5 to 10 blunt, both inflicting 1 paralysis on hit, and on combat start, inflicts 10 fragile and 5 paralysis to the manually selected target next scene. Realistically, you should be in stealth, so Bremen will never cast this, but if they do, then use Rekindled Strike or Steel Knuckles to try and deal with it. Once you get into Perma Stealth, the only way you can lose is if you fall asleep at the wheel and forget to cast pages for a couple of scenes. Once you've beaten Bremen, you'll get their key page and two new combat pages. Bremen has 100 HP, 54 stagger, is slash damage and blunt stagger injured, and has 4 passives. Speed 3, Improv Drumming, Nuovo Fabric, and Ne Woof Woof Bach, which gives 4 one-shot effects each scene on hit with melee pages. You can either inflict 1 Feeble next scene, 1 Paralysis next scene, deal 2 Stagger damage, or recover 2 Stagger resist. Feeble and Paralysis are fantastic effects to inflict, a one-shot Concussion trigger is fine, and a one-shot Mind Hollow trigger is great. While they don't have a Power Booster, this is a pretty solid passive. You also get a copy of Chorus. This 3 cost rolls 5 to 9 slash, 5 to 9, 5 to 9 blunt. 
Additionally, on combat start, all of the allies gain one strength, but the page loses the effect afterwards. The roll range on this page is fine, being just below a fully empowered Moline and equivalent to Battle Command. The one shot effect makes the first time you use this page fantastic, but subsequent uses are maybe a bit lackluster as there isn't any utility. Overall, the page feels a bit confused since it's a supportive card that has purely offensive rules, and I think for that reason, I'd prefer running it a bit more synergistic most of the time. Rooster's Crow is a strictly better version of Unforgettable Melody. It rolls 4 to 7 slash, 3 to 6 block, 3 to 7 blunt, and gives 1 strength to 2 random allies on combat start. While the rolls aren't fantastic, the effect is quite nice. However, compared to other pages that give strength, either to self or allies, I think the rolls are a bit too low for me to consider it in decks that aren't all in on supporting allies. When building a Bremen deck, there isn't any direction other than improv drumming, and they don't have any exclusive pages, so you can really build whatever you want. Singleton is probably the most common. The standard 3 light redread pages, Fire Dragon Slash, Hold the Prescript, and Emotional Turbulence are a given. For your last 3 slots, you could add another light regen, some more value pages like Somber Procreation or Venomous Fangs, more utility like Steel Knuckles or Lairy Goal, more bombs like Laceration or Repressed Flesh, or do something else entirely like go into Charge. In the next video, we'll be starting the next layer of the Ensemble Receptions with Oswald. I'll see you soon, and as always, thank you for watching.